So get oh, ready to step into a world mm -hmm. where fantasy meets reality. Circus Berserkus is back for another unforgettable night, bringing you an out of this world experience, all in support of Empath for Autism. So it's a really fun time for a really good cause. And this is happening on September 21st, where the Madison Theater is going to transform into Lunar, a party beyond for a night of vibrant colors, rich sounds, and incredible performances too. Yeah, and here to tell us more about the event is Leslie Williams, President and Chair of Empath for Autism, along with Charlie Watson, the board treasurer. Great to see you both. You too. Thank this you. is Thanks so exciting. Us. Circus yeah. Berserkus is back. Such a unique event for mm -hmm. those who might be unfamiliar what's it all about well originally it all started as just to, to have a party to raise awareness for autism in the autism community as a way of giving back also to Cincinnati Children's Hospital for the therapies that they were able to provide to Jagger and his success he graduated from them all and, and we Jagger were, being Jagger your son Jagger's my son yep mm -hmm. he's seven and he was diagnosed with autism when he was four years old and so we have been on this journey now for a few years and we just wanted to give back so that's what our, where it all started. It was just supposed to be a party, and then it turned into a foundation, and then an amazing event that we were able to throw last November where we were able to um, fund some parts of the Project ECHO program that Cincinnati Children's is rolling out, and now we want to fully fund it. So that's what our plan is, and um, yeah, so that's why Lunar is here, and we wanted to bring another experience to people like they never experienced before. That's mm -hmm. what the whole tagline was for last year, expect the unexpected. So now we're going to do it this year too, but it's going to be outer space themed, and we're so excited, and we hope everybody can make it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I love that it started as a party yes. and also just kind of this willingness to give back too. Yeah. And, and tell me, I mean, what has it meant to see the success of the event that just happened last year yeah. and really being able to spread that beyond just this gathering? Well, I, I mean, that's the thing. We were not expecting it to be as yeah. big as it was. And I think that people really came out, they obviously like to give back, people do, but people can relate to it too, because they say that everyone knows someone with autism. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just, it's pretty prevalent in our communities. And um, for it to be as successful as it was, and then to go beyond where this program, Project ECHO, is going to be providing um, primary care providers in outlying areas of Cincinnati, um, the training that's needed in order to diagnose and also treat autism within the communities and in the outlying areas, which will create greater accessibility for families that mm -hmm. have loved ones with autism. And that's the exponential yeah. um, growth in that is amazing. And just knowing that that's going to that's where it's going to take off. Yeah. It's great for us. And we love it because it's right up our wheelhouse. We wanted to provide awareness for um, the importance of inter intervention mm -hmm. and also treatment. So. Well, yeah, Charlie, and talk about, too, I mean, like the, the impact that the first event had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the first event was, it was tough because we were trying to give this idea to the public that we were learning ourselves as we went. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think the idea this year is going to be so much nicer because we have hundreds of people that attended last year that now rallied behind us and helped push it this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. uh, we made an impact. We had an amazing evening. We were able to contribute $67,000 to Cincinnati Children's wow. uh, with a goal of that much larger than that this year. So yeah. I think the biggest advantage going into this year is having a team behind us that experienced it once and wants to tell their friends for this year. Yeah, That's of course. Awesome. And with this new theme, kind of out of this world, yeah. lunar beyond, all of mm -hmm. these things, um, tell me what people can expect from the performances. Well, there's going to be a lot. Um, John John <laughs> John John from Kiss 1071 is going to be DJing, mm -hmm. and then also L Train will be there too. Um, and we're going to have some surprises. I can't really tell you. Oh, that's nice. how it was last year too. Yep. We just had these surprises <laughs> that were out there. But characters themed out with the space gear and aliens walking around, and um, also we're going to have a burlesque show from Queen Bee. Queen Bee Cabaret. Wow. That went over. We were a little worried about that yeah. last year, but it went over really well. They have a fantastic so, oh, production. Don't they? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, was, so I was blown away by it. I saw a little bit of it, just like the last performance that they had, but I mean, it was great. Mm -hmm. So, That's custom awesome. cocktails, um, custom password herbs, you know, throughout the evening. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're just. What are you excited. looking forward to the most? Well, for me, I think the thing that we've tried to do even beyond what we did last year, this year, is having something for everybody. So we're gonna have a mm -hmm. silent disco, which apparently oh, okay. is the craze now. Everybody's into that. <laughs> so we're gonna have that. We're gonna have, we've teamed up with Blaze Lounge to have mm -hmm. a rooftop bar and cigar lounge. 
because uh, that's a huge community in Cincinnati, so they're going to be rallying behind us. And mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the thing is no matter if you're if you want to be outside, if you want to be inside, if you want to be right in the, in the action with the music, we're going to have something for everybody to have a great time. That's awesome. OK, now remind us of the date and also where people can get tickets and come yeah. out and support. So the date of the event, September 21st, it is at the Madison Theater in Covington, Kentucky, and we made it easy for tickets. Septemberparty.com. Oh, so you I can't forget it. that. So Septemberparty.com. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, gosh, we really appreciate you guys coming on. We're looking forward Thank to like all. going out and beyond with you guys Thank on the 21st. You. Leslie Thank and Charlie, yeah. we really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks. I hope you guys can make it. It'll be fun. <laughs>